Hello and welcome back fellow PowerShell engineers. Now let's go ahead and dive a little deeper into the pipeline and take a look at the PS item variable. So the pipeline has to have a way to contain or represent the object that is actually in the pipeline kind of without explicitly defining one. So PowerShell handles that with a variable that looks like this. It is a dollar sign and then an underscore or PS item also works for that. And what that represents is the actual value that's in the pipeline. It's an alias for that. Uh, and both of those are interchangeable with the dollar sign underscore and the PS item. So in our example earlier when we did May the Force Be With You, we piped it into outfile. Let's do it again. Force with who? As this string gets passed through the pipe, it can be represented as the PS item variable. That's because it has to have a place to store it temporarily. And this is something that you'll see a lot. Again, this is probably the third big thing out in the wild. You'll see this PS item or the dollar sign underscore. And I want you to know, be able to know what it is. And we'll of course use it in the course, but it's just, I feel like it's not even covered very well in a lot of, a lot of trainings I've, I've done. Um, where it's like, Hey, what is that? You know, you kind of go over some other things and then it's not really there, you know, and then all of a sudden you just start seeing this stuff without understanding what it is. Um, so let's go ahead and do a little script here. You know, we're getting ahead of ourselves a little bit, but it's important to understand. This may even be worth coming back and reviewing at some point. Uh, but we'll create a characters array. And let's just go ahead and we'll just do just a handful. Do Donkey Kong, do Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong. And what we'll do is we're going to loop through these using a where object commandlet. And we're going to be using a pipeline to pipe this through to a loop. So we're going to pipe our characters to a where object. This is actually a great way to see that it's being represented inside of the loop or inside of the pipeline because it's going to be more than one thing past the pipeline. So we'll do where like pools D star. We'll do a wild card. Again, I know this looks a little complicated. We'll get into this stuff later. You have to trust me here. And actually, to do that, is that pattern's not really enough. I'll just switch this to Cranky Kong. All right. So we're gonna find uh characters here that start with a d basically that's all we're doing we're going to loop through and find them all right let's give that a save we'll give it a little bit of a run and it echoes back the characters that start with a d but obviously cranky kong didn't make it but you'll notice the key thing here isn't all that we're going to get into loops and setting up arrays and stuff like this but the key is this PS item variable here. So as it's going through each object, so this is piping through Donkey Kong to where object and seeing if it matches, then Diddy Kong to see if it matches, then Cranky Kong to see if it matches. Well, how does it represent each of those values? Well, it uses this PS item uh, variable here. And in this case, it's just the dollar sign underscore to say, hey, I'm matching this specific element of the array right there. And that's being represented, that's being passed through the pipeline, right? So it's passing one of these through the pipeline at a time. Each time it comes through the pipeline, it's represented here. And again, I know this is confusing, but if we go back to the PS item, like I mentioned earlier, that's, that'll work just the same. So I'll go ahead and change that to PS item. We'll do a save. And then we'll do a clear console. 
and, and see it does the exact same thing. So a little ahead of ourselves, super important to note, and we'll definitely see it once we start looping through other things later on throughout this whole course, actually. So, all right, guys, thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next lesson.